story of my friend Astro, an incredibly cool robot built by the brilliant scientist Dr. Tenma in the likeness of his son Toby. One day, Dr. Tenma invited Toby along to see the unveiling of a new robot, the Peacekeeper, that was set to revolutionize Metro City's military. Dr. Elfin, Tenma's eccentric right-hand man, developed the power source for the Peacekeeper. Dubbed the Blue Core, it was extracted from a chunk of raw material from outer space. It consisted of nothing but pure, positive energy. Unfortunately, after extracting the blue energy, there remained a residual material that was purely negative energy. It was dubbed the Red Core. After hearing of the Red Corps' existence, the ever-ambitious and ruthless President Stone ordered Elephant to swap out the Peacekeeper's Blue Core for its negative opposite. This was a grave mistake. The Peacekeeper turned on its human masters. Thinking quickly, Dr. Tenma was able to contain the Peacekeeper behind an emergency shield. Unfortunately, in the confusion, Toby was trapped with the Peacekeeper. Eventually, the Peacekeeper was subdued. But tragically, Toby was gone. In his grief, Dr. Tenma became obsessed with the idea of bringing back his son. He began working on the most sophisticated robot ever seen. He designed it to look just like Toby, instilled it with Toby's memories, and convinced Dr. Elfin to let him use the blue core for the robot's power source. After inserting the blue core into Toby's chest, Tenma activated his creation. In a joyous moment, father and son were reunited. Tenma and his new Toby returned home in the hopes of resuming the life that was so abruptly interrupted. Check out the haircut on that one. It looks like he's got horns. <laughs> horns? That's a good one. But, but what do you mean horns? It's gel. Whoa! It's like you can understand us. Don't be stupid. I can hear what you're saying. <laughs> it's as if he can hear what we're saying. There's no way. He's a human. Come on. Let's go leak oil and some statues. Wait up. Wait up, I, I just want to know what's going on. What's happened to me? Whoa! Whoa. Ah!
help you? Registration, please. Excuse me? Sir, I'm charging you with making an illegal left-hand turn without signaling. I'll need to see your official registration. But... I, I, I don't have that. I, I'm just a little kid. Oh, the old... I'm just a little kid routine. Like I haven't heard that one before. Come on, serial numbers. Uh, s serial numbers? Manufacturer's papers. What do you mean? Warranty. What? All robots in Metro City need to be licensed. I'm a robot? Oh, I see. This is Unit 235. We have a red and white robot on the corner of 6 and 11 with a bad motivator. Requesting an immediate disposal unit to that location. All right, I gotta go take care of this. Now you sit tight till another officer comes to take you in, okay? You should go on a dot. Who's reading?
Where is he? Where's Toby? I sent him to his room. Please just deactivate him and take him away. I can't bear to see his face again. Come on, Tenma. You can't just throw him away like a piece of junk. Dad, what's going on? Toby, there's been a bit of a misunderstanding. You're not actually a, an entirely ordinary boy. I know. Dad, I can fly. It's amazing. Get rid of him. What's wrong with me? Why don't you love me anymore? He's programmed with the memories of your own son, Tenma. Program? Don't you understand? He's not my son. He's a robot who looks like my son. Dad. You're a failed experiment. A robot, not my son. A robot! And I don't want you anymore. No. No! Toby, I can't see into the future. But I'm sure there's a place for you. You just have to find it. He's my father. This is my home. It's all I know. Everyone has their destiny, Toby. Didn't you hear him? I'm not Toby.